All right, just filming this uh, solar update because I know you guys love to hear the updates. So the last video I made was uh, I bought solar from Tesla because Sunrun wouldn't let me. So I was on the phone with Sunrun this morning. Their customer service called me, not because of the video, just because I filled out a uh, survey that was like, hey, I'm trying to buy solar from you guys and you're not letting me. Uh, and so the customer service rep called me back and was like, hey, what happened when I talked about the survey? So that conversation wasn't awesome. The customer service person uh, went and researched from, I told her, I was like, hey, it sounds like there's a lot of politics. It sounds like you guys are, have agreements with the utility company to like not sell, o like sell over production to people. Um, I don't understand why in this climate you're siding with the utility providers instead of siding with the customers. Like, and I don't know why, like, I can't explain that. I just want to run a lot of AC and I want to provide extra energy for my house. Like, why is that not a good use or whatever? So, um, what they think happened was because I called in at the five and a half month mark instead of the six month mark, my whole like application where I went through it with the energy specialist asking for the quote apparently just got deleted out of the CRM is what they think happened. Uh, again, and they're saying it's because of the five and a half month thing, not because of my reasoning for the energy. But so the customer service rep got me someone uh, on the add on team. She screened me again for what I wanted to do made sure I matched the account and then she transferred back to the energy specialist and the energy specialist was the same guys who I worked with before. So I talked through it with him again. I was like, Hey dude, I have our old email chain. I'm not sure what happened. It's been 30 days. I haven't heard back. So I'm assuming you guys just won't sell to me. And he was like, he tried to pull it up and it wasn't even there. Like our old conversation was not in his thing. So he wasn't able to work it again. We think it's because of the five and a half month mark thing, not the six month mark thing. But so anyway, I was like, Hey, I'm working this quote with Tesla right now. I want to give Sunrun the ability to match it. Do you want to do it? And he was like, he was about to ask for the utility bill and everything again, but he was like, wait a minute. No, your usage doesn't like, we can't do it that way. He's like, okay, just send me what Tesla's building you and I'll, and I'll build the exact same system and we'll get it done that way. So that's the stage that we're at at exactly this moment. All right. So we're in the groove now of getting a max out system built with Sunrun, which is awesome. So they came back and they said that the closest they were, so Tesla built me a 4.8 uh, system. And then at their engineering phase, I'm like talking to them about adding more, adding more. And, um, yeah, uh, Sunrun just came back and said that they built like a 4.7 and change system. So they're trying to get as close to it as possible. And for some reason they, oh, and then they said you can have an LG chem battery or you can have a Tesla, um, Powerwall battery. And I asked them, I said, I don't want to go LG chem. I'm, I'm down to go Tesla Powerwall. Do you by chance have a, have the new solar edge battery? Because I don't know if this is just OCD or what it is, but I kind of want all the branding to match. Like that's why I already had a Sunrun system because that's who DR Horton chose to build the solar with. So sticking with Sunrun is what I want to do. And then now at the battery brand level, because I have a solar edge inverter, I kind of want the battery to come from solar edge and solar edge has a new battery. So I asked them about that. He said that in some cases they do have a solar edge battery. Um, but at the current, uh, tab he was on, those were the two choices that were given. So I said, okay, let's move forward with Tesla Powerwall. He said that for some reason, buying two Powerwalls is the same price as buying one Powerwall. I'm like, all right, let's get the two then for sure. Um, they talked to their lease program. I don't want to lease this. Like, I don't want to lease this. I'm trying to build like a sovereign homestead. Like I want it to own it and finance it and buy it. And so we've talked about the financing. Uh, Sunrun is offering 2.99% financing for 20 years. Tesla is only offering 5.24% financing for 10 years. So Sunrun beats them on that. So I'm very excited and I'm on track now with Sunrun. It feels good. He said, how's it going? And I'm like, sweet like the financing you beat them um i the payment sounds great i do want to like i am going to push at the engineering phase or the site survey phase to like add more panels because i still think there are a little bit more of the roof that we can cover same thing i did with the tesla guy who just came out the tesla guy by the way who just came out super awesome like great their site visit guy i explained like i want all the equipment in the garage and I know you built it for 4.8, but while you're up on the roof, like please take enough pictures and measurements to get the engineering team to add even more panels and use up the rest of it. Um, like I want to max it out. So Tesla guy understood that. Sunrun guy now on the phone understands that. And I'm gonna sign the oversize agreement and 
he that will then give him permission to use his he's like getting manager permission to use the oversized tool to then build it so that's why i'm recording this video like in time like i just hung up because i want other people to not have to jump through these hoops or at least to know how to jump through the hoops so be very specific when you're talking to them say like I understand that I'm oversizing the system. I'm doing that on purpose and I'm willing to sign the oversize agreement. So I think if we use their language, it'll help. So that's the stage, you know, we're at now. All right. I, I feel like I finally got the entire like picture. Like I just feel like I finally got the entire story. So here's the story. Like the max they can build is up to a 200% offset. So for whatever reason, that Sunrun's agreement with the utility company that the max they will build someone is 200% of their needed offset. Um, and the problem is if you submit a plan that goes past that, the utility will decline you for net energy metering. And this is what's so wild and how Bitcoiners are so early to this is that because you don't want to not be approved for net energy metering or your overbuilt solar like system won't pencil. Like the reason why they, they don't, they as in the solar providers and the utility companies don't want to or slash can't build you an oversized system is because the utility company doesn't want to pay you out of pocket for all the surplus you're creating. Um, so they'll just deny it. Like if you try to fill out your entire roof, but like don't need it then, or don't use it, then they'll have to pay you money. Bitcoin is net energy metering. Like Bitcoin pays more than net energy metering. So now this frees up Sunrun, Tesla, XYZ, other solar companies to sell solar to people and it, and it empowers homeowners to now do their own math and for being energy producers themselves. So that's what's crazy. Like that's why this whole like thing has been so fun to like learn about and get to the bottom of because being an energy producer is good. There's no positive future for humanity where we use less energy than we do today. And individuals and homes being able to produce energy is good but there's all these like bureaucratic rules that are locked in the middle and there's all this old game theory that is being erased right now like the future is people having home bitcoin miners next to their air conditioning units in their home being an energy producer so then they use energy and then whatever they're creating that they're not using is being monetized for them to help their family that's cool and that's awesome. I just feel like I finally got to the bottom like of the whole deal. Um, but great news, like we pushed through and are getting the quote from Sunrun. And so I'll now be able to compare quotes between Sunrun and Tesla. And I understand that energy metering and I don't need that energy metering. I don't need it because I already have a way of producing like, like offsetting my own costs for energy that my house doesn't need. So because I already know that, it's changing the questions that I'm asking them. And that's why it has felt so clunky along the way. Um, but just the great news is I'm now able to like look at Tesla's quote, look at Sunrun's quote, and just go from there. So I'm, um, yeah, like I'm just taking my time, going to look at both quotes and go with whichever one like is the best knowing that I know how to use my own surplus. So we'll keep figuring it out and we'll, uh, we'll just keep learning about this whole like solar stuff. Watching this back and just adding one more piece of context. So the whole, they can only build 200% over. So when I send them the utility bill, it shows that I'm minus 270 for the year. So I'm minus 270 kilowatts for the year, as in like SCNE owes me three and a half cents per each of those kilowatt hours. And you've seen the experiments of how I've been working to use Bitcoin mining, to use my own surplus, to monetize my own um, surplus. Um, but I've been running different experiments and I haven't had the miner on the whole time. So I've been trying to get close to that zero mark. Um, so there isn't even a minus 270, but I've just been you know doing other stuff. And so what, what we're trying to do now is get the quote moving 
but I need to mine more Bitcoin to show more usage because again of the, you can only build 200% over. So in order to use up the rest of my roof and the rest of my roof capacity, we need to create like create more usage. And because I have the sense monitor, like that's what's so awesome about this whole thing is like, I'm trying to build a smart, smart home that creates all this energy, my house uses the energy, whatever energy my house doesn't use, then I monetize with Bitcoin. So I'm not trying to be a stress on the grid either. I'm actually being the opposite of a stress on the grid of being just my house uses all of it. And then whatever I, I don't need, then I'll monetize myself with Bitcoin. So I honestly don't even need the net energy metering plan. But this whole concept is like too new. So I'm trying to like fit, you know, a circle into a square box. But that's the stage we're at of like, so I got the quote from Tesla, got the quote from Sunrun, but now the Sunrun one is still undersized to the roof um, to, to make sure I'm underneath the 200% mark. So we need to have more energy usage so that we can continue to build panels into the rest of the roof. And so I'm gonna try to do that as we're you know in the waiting game of building the plan with them. So that's the stage that the entire um, plan is at. But just want to reiterate again, the purpose is to have a bunch of production, have a bunch of storage, and then have a way to monetize the surplus all here at the homestead, not having to be a stress on the grid or bother the utility or whatever. And that's the power of Bitcoin. Like That's the power of uh, just this new smart home future that we're moving into.